Hi, this is Piotr from Devs No Code, and today I'll show you how to work with our Google Location Autocomplete plugin for Bubble. So, what this plugin does is it enhances your inputs so that they can work as a Google Location Autocomplete um, widget, which basically allows you to find any um, any place using Google um, Maps API, and then get all the data of this place, including photos, opening hours, reviews, user ratings, etc. So I'll first show you how this works. Basically, you've got a, you've got an input, and you can, for example, look for a pizza in New York or pizza New York, whatever. And we have some options. Let's select this one, and then you'll see that you've got the place ID, which is a Google ID for this place, the name, longitude, latitude, phone number, some photos of the place, some opening hours, reviews, etc. Um, okay, so how to make all of this work? So first, you have to go to your bubble editor and look at your design and you need two things you need a google or you need a, like an input a standard bubble input and you need our autocomplete element which is not an element you want to display just an element that enhances this input so that it becomes a google auto complete location widget and in order to make this work apart from having those two elements on your page you need to have two things first you need to be able to set an ID attribute on this element. If you don't see the ID attribute um, play, uh, field here, then you need to actually go to the settings of your bubble page and go to the very bottom of the general tab and look at the advanced options and expose the option to add an ID attribute to HTML elements. This has to be checked. Once that's checked, you can actually add the ID attribute here and then copy this over, go to the, our uh, autocomplete element and paste it here. Um, in order to link to all the data that will be returned from Google's API, you just have to go ahead and link dynamically to our autocomplete element and then to its place ID or name or phone number, etc. etc. Okay, so this is the first thing you need to do. You need to link this input to our autocomplete element. The second thing you need to do is you need to actually um, get access to the Google Places API, so create your own API key. I won't be going through the whole process here. You need to have a Google Cloud Console, um, Google Cloud Console account, but you can find an I, a URL for the Google's documentation on how to do just that, how to obtain the API key um, on our instructions page in the in the plugin. And you'll also find in the description the list of all the fields that you can get from the Google Places API. Uh, so once you have the API key, you can get it from um, the Google Console. Once you have this API key, you can copy it over, go back to your bubble editor, look at the plugins, go for Google Location Autocomplete, and then um, add it here in the Google Location API key headers. Once that's done, you have the input, you have our element, you have them linked via the um, the ID and you have the Google Location API key copied over to our ad plugin uh, settings, you're all done and you can go ahead and look, for example, for a spaghetti place in London. And here we go, an Italian restaurant with some nice photos of pizzas and spaghettis. Thank you guys and see you soon.